Hello again, Internet. Welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Legacy. Let's choose our heir. Um, as you can tell, I kind of favor uh, barbarians over mages, so I'm going to go ahead and pick a barbarian again. Hopefully that nostalgic filter won't mess too much up. Um, how should we upgrade? I don't really care about the archmage. So let's get the architect out. And then... Yeah, that's the architect. Uh, upgrade the barbarian to a barbarian king. Yes. So I can cast Farodus. The barbarian shout. And unlock Shinobi, the fleetest of fighters, which is my personal favorite class. And that is... All of the money that I have, so... Alright, I unlock some new stuff. But... As yet, I spent all my money on something else instead, so we'll go in here. I'm unfortunately in nostalgia mode again, but now I do have the shout. Oh no, that's my chakra. That's my shout. It does take up most of my mana, so I don't think I can actually do it again just yet. But... Oh boy. Ah. The point of the shout is that it breaks projectiles. Oh boy. Jump. Turn to the left. Turn to the right. Slash. Hop, hop. If you haven't noticed, I tend to talk to myself kind of a lot. Open the chest. Mostly just narrating what I'm doing. It uh, probably makes me a pretty boring narrator as far as Let's Play videos go. But, frankly, I don't have all that much to work with, seeing as I'm only me sitting here. And, frankly, I don't think I'm that interesting. I do Let's Play videos because I love Let's Plays. And, uh, I hope that you guys will like Let's Plays, and maybe eventually I can say that I do it for you guys. Assuming there are eventually any you guys. Um, as is usually the case when I stumble onto a brilliant idea like this, it means that, uh, I've become familiar with somebody else who has done it successfully. In this case, the Let's Player in question is Markiplier, uh, who I've watched an absolute ton of his videos uh, lately, and I think he has an excellent style, not just uh, in his delivery and the types of games that he plays, but in the way that he interacts with his fans, and the way he really is, uh, I mean, I guess all YouTubers are kind of self-made people, but he, he really seems like a self- Did I just see Santa Claus in the background? <laughs> the way that uh, he really is seemed to be uh, kind of an up-and-comer, and I just, I'm just really impressed with him in general. So, of course, I have to try my hand at it, so. Journal entry, number three. Um, this print is a jerk. Um, this is just talking about how, uh, the Death God steals your money when you go in here, which we already know because it's happened to me four or five times now. Um, maybe I should put a death counter on. That'll probably be funny. Um, I have to remember how many times I've died so far. Uh, da dodge. Dodge. Oh, I bet it would tell me on the intro screen next time I died. I bet it tells you, because I think you can just click back and look at all of the characters that you've played as. So that's good. That'll give me a... Uh, that'll give me a way to put in my death counter. Dodge, dodge, push. Oh, I can't do my shout. I don't have enough mana. Oh, no, I thought he was dead. I have to hit him twice. Just crit one of them. Okay, um, as you can see in the top left-hand corner there, there is my my health and my mana. My mana is down to just two, because I've been kind of shouting and casting my spells. Oh, I got a potion. I recovered five mana. I feel very special. That's not enough to cast a spell or use my shout, but I guess the thought that counts. Jump, stab, jump. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Sometimes I have trouble with the stab puzzles. These platforms, I mean, not puzzles. Hop. 
Is that a Doomvis? No. It's just the only way to go. Hey, health recovery. I do like that. Um, there's only occasionally meat and mana potions to restore your health and mana in the game. Um, I'm pretty sure they recover right around 10% each time you pick up one, which really is not very much for the most part. What in the world? Oh my goodness, that's terrifying. Okay, so, okay, and it's really strong. Yeah, that, that monster needs to die, like, now. A blueprint! Hey, that's great. I am so dead. I can't... I can't... I can't do anything. I can't... Let it throw. Jump. I can't kill it. I need another hit. Die! Oh, goodness. Yeah, I have like 10... 11 health? 11. I could really use some meat. Uh... Okay. Um, that was really annoying, because it didn't get me anywhere. Now I have to backtrack. Is it another one? It is another one! I can't deal with that! What is that? I need to kill the little ones. No, I just, I can't deal with that right now. I can't deal with that kind of pressure. Can't do it. I'm just gonna go somewhere else. And probably die somewhere else, but there's a chest in this room that I skipped because I didn't think I could do this. I proved in the other room that I could. Oh, hey, more monsters. Another blueprint! A blood sword. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the blood items reduce your maximum health, but give you life steal. Um, it might be flat life steal, though. I don't know if it's flat or if it's based on the damage that you deal. Something tells me it's probably a flat amount. Oh, goodness. Slash. I'm so glad the eyeballs die in one hit. It'd be so painful otherwise. Stab. Drop. Drop. Ah, see the, uh... I think you can see my cursor, actually. Um... But just right here to the left of my character, there is a a little gray spot on the wall, right where my sword is pointing, uh, which is actually a secret passage you can enter if your character is a dwarf, then you can run to the left and open the chest that's over there. Unfortunately, I'm not currently a dwarf, so that passage is going to have to stay close to me. Another blueprint! And money. Okay, this is a teleporter, as we indicated in the first uh, video. This is a boss, and since I'm in the castle, it's the boss of the main castle. I found the boss. That means that I, I'm dead, because I didn't dodge. Well then, bury me with my money, I suppose. Um, I don't think we have time for another full round, but I did collect a lot of money, so let's spend it. Oh, let's, let's go ahead and take a look here. We began with the legendary knight, Johannes. And he was the first one, the legendary knight. That was my first death. Sir Lee, two, three, four, five, six. I've died six times so far. And ladies and gents, that number's only gonna get higher. So, let's select the next character I will play as. I have a paladin, a barbarian king, or a shinobi. Um, fortunately, the Shinobi appears to have Alzheimer's. Um, I think I'm going to give it a shot, just because I do love playing as Shinobi. And let's go and check out the Enchantress and see the stuff that I can equip. Uh, it gives me a double jump and a dash. And the dash looks like this. It can be done in midair, as you can see. And I do now have a double jump, which makes me much more maneuverable. Now, I have 500 gold to spend between weapons, armor... Let's see. As you can see, my weight on the left, getting a cloak will give me a crit chance. Um, being that I'm a shinobi, I actually can't crit right now, so that's useless to me. I can spend 525 and 30 of my 60 weight capacity to unlock my knight's chest plate and get 16 armor. And that is not insignificant, so I'm actually going to spend all my money and pick that up. 
Now my uh, attacks to carry on will be as nothing. This is what my scythe sub weapon looks like, by the way. Out here, I have infinite mana. So, here I stand before Charon, and uh, I will have to see you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, Internet, thank you all so much again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please drop me a like or share it with your friends. Feel free to comment below, and please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Until next time, this is Backslash Echo signing off, and I will see you on the other side.